All right, guys. So this is basically my breakdown. Yeah, again, you're, you're going to say Schroeder S++. So this is going to kind of be my breakdown and just the way I think about characters from a organized team perspective. So on my tier list, as you can see, there's S, needs balance. Obviously, characters in there need balance. Um, they're a bit you know, out of the uh, out of the question there. A is kind of the best characters to take into team scenarios. B is they are very viable. C is they're kind of niche in where they are. Um, D, they're not really viable in organized team comps. And F, they're absolutely unplayable. Good news, there's nobody in DRF. I will tell you that right now. There's nobody in DRF. So first up, let's talk about Acrid, right? So going into Acrid, we have to kind of break down how I feel about the different pieces of a character. Make a 1v3 solo queue from tier list to carry. <laughs> I might. I might, Victor. I might. So before we get into Acrid, because this is really important to where I place Acrid, to me, the important pieces of a character from top to bottom are sprint stat, power stat, their abilities, their health, and then the speed stat. So a lot of times when you're actually moving, you're only you're pretty much using your sprint. Like speed is just your walking speed. All of the characters have the same top speed when they sprint. That's what the de developers have said. So knowing that, um, what what is Acrid's What's Acrid Sprint? It's a three. So the number one, he's top tier on. Number two is power. What's his power? He's top tier on power. Number three is abilities. He has probably some of the best abilities in the game. Number four is health. And the way I look at health is if you have three health, that's a one star. If you have four health, that's a two star. If you have five health, that's a three star. He's at a two star for health. And then his only, his only downside is the least important thing, which is speed. So for me, simply put, Acrid is in S tier. He needs balancing, um, whether they're taking away one of his sprint, um, something like that. You know, maybe changing up the spit a little bit or changing up rage a bit. He's obviously in S tier simply because he has those stats. And let's talk a little more about Acrid too. Acrid is probably the best defender. I'd say he is probably the second best midfielder, only to Elika. And outside of the actual striker characters of Schroeder and Shawnee, he is the number three to those two. So outside of those characters, he's number one. Outside of the actual striker characters, he's number one. So he can play any position in the game. Hands down, if like if you're going like an Elika Acrid cap, Acrid's your front. Acrid's your front, right? does just fine so that is what he can play any position and he's obviously stat wise the best character in the game all right so let's move on to cap my cap um for me cap he he only plays goalie like if i were to go into all the positions and label who's the best at it one through six Cap would be the number six striker, the number six offense, the number six midfielder, and the number two defender in all actuality for me. Um, that and his abilities, you know, aren't really good in, say, the mid to front range either. I mean, one of his abilities is just the wall, right? Yeah, you can get some, some weird cheeky goals and stuff off that, but it's much better used for, you know, goal tactics. So, say... You know, Schroeder's coming in for the swap. Right before he gets there, you pop your sheet, your wall up. He swaps you. You have time to run all the way back. They can't really shoot at the goal very well. So for me, Cap is C tier. He fits in that niche position, that one niche position. And he's probably not even the best at that position. That's probably Acrid, who's up in our S tier. So, yeah, that that's basically how Cap lands for me. I, I main a C tier character, guys. I main a C tier character. So now we're going to talk about Elika. Elika has three power, which is our number two stat. Um, she has one speed, which is the number five stat, and then she has two sprint. But let's talk about her abilities. The cage is insanely useful in the midfield. So let's say your attacker has the ball. They're acrid rages, right? That's four seconds of you are not going to score if they are a good acrid, if they know where to stand. Literally, she just walks up, 
Cage is on the post. All of a sudden, goal's open. Akron can't hit it. And boom, you get a goal. She literally can stop the most powerful defensive ability in the game just by... And she has really low cooldowns as well. Also, that shield is really good for assassinating people. So for me, you know, she is the best midfielder. I'm actually going to put her in A for the best tier. And, you know, people can disagree with me. This is a tier list. It's all opinionated. Um... But yeah, I'm going to end up putting uh, her in the A slot simply because, to me, she's the best midfielder. She provides the best uh, kind of combo capability from the midfield position as well. Um, a lot of times you wouldn't be running her because you're running the, the double attacker, the double striker. So that that's a thing. But compared to Akron, compared to Lachlan, she's definitely better in the midfield compared to those two. All right, so let's move on to Lachlan. And Lachlan quite possibly has the worst stats in the game. I mean, he does have three power, but he's three. He's one sprint, he's one uh, speed, and the. I want to put him right here. I want to put him in C. But the thing about Lachlan is his slam and his war song are some of the best. I'd say they're in the top five abilities in the game. Those two abilities. So for me, just the abilities, it's going to go ahead and put him up in B tier. So Lachlan's going to be in B tier only, not in C tier, only because of his abilities. Only, for me, only because of his abilities. All right, so now we're to the two that are kind of the, um, where everybody disagrees. Most people are going to put Shawnee right here, right? Then there's other people that are going to put Schroeder right here, right? Yeah? I have a very unique kind of stance on this, okay? So I have to talk about these two together. So to me, one of them is a very pub stomp, one, one on one, one on two based character. The other one is a very team oriented character where you're setting up kind of combo goals with your abilities and um, you know transitioning back on defense to put pressure on them. So as we discussed, you know, last stream, you have, when you're on defense, you have your defender, you have your midfielder, and then you have your attacker who's putting pressure on the ball holder, right? So Schroeder's really good, really good at that. And Schroeder is the more team-based character. Um, the other thing, Shawnee can absolutely wreck a team if she remains unchecked. Just by herself, doesn't need help from anybody else. A great, great character. Uh, I do see that there's probably going to be some balance coming. There's a lot of people that are upset about the spear, and that is one of the that is probably the best ability in the game is her spear. You can literally throw it into the goal, grab the ball, boom, instant fucking goal. Okay, so we're gonna leave that that kind of out of it. Yeah, that spear that spear can happen outside of throwing it in the goal. In all honesty, it can, it's really easy to dodge and it's really easy to rotate around. So. Outside of just the complete and utter broken, throw it in the goal and automatically score, Spear isn't that good of an ability. And one thing about it is you have you have this tiny little circle, and that's the only way she can do damage. In a team-based game, you're looking for a power play, specifically if you're going up against a double striker comp, so Shawnee and Schroeder, you're looking to get those, you know, to you know, alternate which striker you're killing. So that's a 2v3 most of the time. Shawnee has a hard time doing damage. And that's a big thing about her. The other big thing for me with Shawnee is she's running the three speed and the two sprint. Whereas Schroeder has the three sprint and the two speed. Um, Shawnee's leap is great. Um, in the future, I do see it getting toned down a bit. But, you know... That will get you a goal by yourself. Sometimes. If there is a good rotation, then yeah. Plus, you have to hit it like that. It's not like um, other abilities where you can just kind of stand there and wait for it. Like, they know it's coming. <laughs> they know it's coming. And you're, it's just up like that. So, I have a very unpopular opinion here. So for me, I don't think I think Schroeder is one of the be the best balanced characters for his position. I actually put Schroeder in A because Schroeder can get back on defense real easy. Schro both the Schroeder's abilities can open the goal for a goal really easy. 
swap and his little shark move. I'm forgetting the name of it right now. And they just completely obliterate a, uh, a defender, right? Except for Acrid, who obviously you can't swap with unless you get behind him. But you shouldn't be getting behind Acrid um, when, when he's doing his rage. So for me, I put, Sh I put Schroeder in the A tier. And where am I going to put Shawnee, guys? Is she going to be S? Is she going to be A? Is she going to be B? Let's talk about one more downside that Shawnee has. And I know I'm talking about all the downsides as opposed to the upside she has. Because that kind of, you know, determines on where I'm putting her here. Shawnee has the longest cooldowns in the game. Her Electrobatics is longer than some Ultimates. So, for me... You're really dependent on the power-up pickups. And clearly this is completely opinionated. A lot of people would put her in S. In a team-based composition, an organized team-based composition, where you're not just playing with a team where your star is your striker, like a proster or somebody like that. I'm putting her in B. There are enough downsides for me. Yes, in a pub game, in a, you know, in a draft game, she can run all over the place, but when we start seeing more teams that are working together, playing together, I don't think Shawnee is going to be as potent as a Schroeder can be. So, like I said at the start of this, I'm going to be, you know, basing this all on organized team play from more of a coaching standpoint. And that pretty much sums up my, uh, my whole kind of tier list here. So, obviously, I have accurate S, you know, he can play every position on the field. He has some of the best ability, abilities in the game. The top two kind of things that make me decide on a character, the speed and the strength, he has both of those as well as great abilities and even what would amount to a two-star health. I know a lot of people disagree with me on this tier list, but in all actuality, I think, you know, looking at a lot of the scrim games, and if you look at a lot of the scrim games... What is your team comp on a lot of them? It's usually Acrid, Elica, and then Schroeder or Shawnee, right? Acrid, Elica, Schroeder or Shawnee. Acrid, Elica, Ac Acrid, Elica, Schroeder. Acrid, Elica, Shawnee. Acrid, Elica, Schroeder. So I think this, looking at what I've watched on people's streams when they're doing these scrim games, and just kind of the other streams I've watched of high player, high tier players playing and stuff, this is really kind of the. Uh, where I sit from a coaching standpoint of what I think. But, like I've explained before about Cap being C tier. I go back to like Overwatch right now. May, if you've ever played Overwatch, you know May is a D tier hero. However, May right now is one of the most, was before the new character got added, was one of the most played heroes because she fit a specific team comp. And Cap definitely sits there. Cap is great for double striker in all actuality. I would actually take Cap over Acrid and double striker. Um, because you don't really need the extra speed to get downfield, stuff like that, uh, and get back. Because you, you have your strikers to cover you. Uh, Cap is a great defender. You know, just because Acrid is better than him doesn't mean he's not a great play, especially if you main him. So, yeah, I am putting him in C tier. I am putting Shawnee in B tier. There's a g ton of great Shawnee players. But kind of just in a basic team formula aspect, this is, this is where I sit. 